Hey, it's Evan from photoextremist.com, and today we are going to make this picture. Now, basically, this technique is where you you have something in focus, and then you have something in the background which is completely out of focus. This technique is known as bokeh. Um, people pronounce the, the word in different ways. Some, some people pronounce it baki. Some people will pronounce it like bokeh. <laughs> so um, it, you can call it whatever you want. I call it bokeh because that's what it that's what it sounds like to me. So I found that there's there's two ways of getting this effect. We can either use a very long lens, like a 200 millimeter lens, um, and we can have the background way out there. Or what we can do is use uh, something like a 50 millimeter lens, but just get really close up on the subject and also have the background just, just a few feet away from the actual subject. If you're doing it with a 50 millimeter lens, you're going to want a 1.8 lens or 1.4 or 1.2, something like that. If you're using it with um, a long lens, like a 200 millimeter lens, you're probably going to want Six f six point three to down to like f two point eight or something like that. That should that should work fine. So let me show you my setup and show you everything behind the scenes. So those are Christmas lights in a doorway, and let me walk over there so you can just get a closer glimpse of that really quickly. So here they are. These are just regular lights that you can get at any store, they are just plugged in over there, and they are going up the door. So that's that. Next, our subject is this glass jar of little nuts, but you can't see the nuts because that's that would be stupid. <laughs> so now if you see, my camera is lined up perfectly with this glass jar and those lights that are over there. And this subject, the jar, is being lit by this thing. Now you don't need something like this, you can just use a regular lamp or whatever you want to use. But this is basically what I'm using. The umbrella makes the lighting really soft when it hits the subject. And so that is my setup. Now. I am using a 200 millimeter lens and my aperture is at 6.3 right now and my shutter speed is at a 20th of a second. My white balance is at incandescent because we are using those yellow lights and those are incandescent lights. My ISO is at 200. So with all those settings the key setting is the aperture. Have, have the F number as low as it can go to get this effect. And then you want to focus, you want to make sure you focus on your jar over there. <laughs> you have to get that perfectly in focus. I would just use manual focus. Um, then what you do, there's the viewfinder. If you can see the, through there, that's what it looks like when you're looking through it. So if I take the picture right now, um, that is the result that we get, right, get in focus, right there. Boom, okay? Now here is the second way to do it. The second way to do it is to use a, a lens that is, it's a prime lens, so it's something like 50 millimeters. It's not ex as extreme as 200. It's just a regular 50 millimeter lens. And the aperture is set at 1.8 at this lens. And if you really want to know for the settings that I'm using, when I'm taking this shot, I'm using 1 60th of a second, aperture 1.8, incandescent lighting, and ISO 200. And to get this jar lit up, I'm just using this light right there and then this light coming from the bathroom. So if I stand away, you can see the whole thing. So now when we take the picture, 
first of all, let me show you in the viewfinder what it looks like. There you go. There, that's what it looks like in the viewfinder. So, but when we take the actual picture, that is what we get.